Hello, what is in your background that looks amazing? This is a beautiful painting. It's an Aboriginal painting, a young artist. And wow. Been hanging in my home for many, many years. It's, uh, oh, it it's dream time paintings. You know what? It makes me want to go to Hawaii when I see that. Do you know that? <laughs> that's good. Well, that's where I'm calling you from. And uh, I live out here with my wife and our two sons. And this is where we've been for the last few months. I mean, we've had the home for about 20 years. Wow. Yes, maybe that's the place to be. Before we start into the movie, may I ask you something, Pierce, because you're not only Irish, but also American. Yes. And it's so much going on in the States at the moment that I, I said to a colleague of mine, I don't even know if I want to come anymore, right? Yes. Um, how is it for you, the situation? Because your heart is also the States, of course. No, I'm an American citizen. I'm, 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 I've been in America for 35 years. It's my home. My children are American citizens. You know, they were born here. I'm an American who was born in Ireland and educated in London. So I fly under a few flags. I love them all. They're dear to my heart. They, these countries have made me the man I am. What's happening in America is painful and hard to see. Uh, but hopefully a film like Eurovision will bring some kind of joy to people when it comes out on Netflix. I'm a huge Will Farrell fan. And uh, uh, so when I read the script, I was fully aware of what Eurovision was about, Eurovision Song Contest. I grew up on it. I used to watch them and everyone would howl with laughter at the, the various acts. But uh, the, the sentiment and the sincerity of them all is portrayed well in the movie. Absolutely. No, but it, it's also like it was always or is still this amazing event, you know. And I remember here in Germany, we also had winners at the Eurovision, of course. Yes. Um, uh, when I watched it as a kid with my parents and then later with my friends, you know. Do you remember your first time you saw it, what it was? Uh, I do. I, I watched ABBA. I was in the Eurovision Song Contest. It was 19, I think it was 1974. So I was at drama school. I was a drama student. Uh, and everyone watched it in London. It was a big event in Germany, in Europe. Everywhere. And much loved. And, you know, whatever you thought of it, you watched the show. Everybody would stay home and gather around their TV. And I think Will, you know, being married to a beautiful Swedish woman, uh, he's so familiar with it. And I thought it was just a, a clever notion that they hit on it. Absolutely. Like he did with Talladega Nights or Elf. You know, he picks a broad theme and elaborates on it. Absolutely. But also very important was um, Lars's... Um, relation to his dad, you know, the most beautiful man in Iceland, of course, you, Pierce, who else? <laughs> so, um, because don't we all want to be approved and loved and, um, you know, from our fathers, it's so important to get this, I'm proud of you, you know? I think all of us need that. I do, I do, yes. I, I, I understand that one very well. You know, the, my, the part that I play in the film is quite straight. Uh, it's, you know, he's a fisherman, he's a working man, he drinks too much, he lives in a small village and he's had all the women in the town and consequently his son doesn't know that his, you know, he's wondering if his girlfriend is his sister or not. It's very funny. Uh, could be very funny. You know. <laughs> But uh, no, I mean, I'm really the straight one in the film. And I think that's what grounds the film too, because Will and Rachel, their characters are so naive and delightfully charming and open-hearted that, uh, but there is this strong, there is this deep pain in his heart that he hasn't connected with his father. And somehow I think we've managed to do it within the film. Yes, 
Yeah, absolutely. And this is also, I think, even when we are older, I had that at least. I always wanted that my parents also approve what I'm doing, you know, that they are proud of me. Did you never have that? Um, well, I did, you know, I came from a bit of a fractured home, so I never knew my father. And uh, that's a story unto itself. I, I met him once in my life and uh, it was a brief meeting. So I, I grew up uh, fatherless so to speak, you know, to the age of about 11. And uh, uh, you know, so somehow I've become a father, <laughs> you know, with four sons. Uh, how I've done it, I don't know. But uh, luckily I have a great wife in Keeley and uh, she's a magnificent mother. And um, two of my sons. But uh, yes, it, I don't know. That it's a whole ball of wax there. <laughs> a movie. It all started when I was four years old. <laughs> right, exactly. Listen. <laughs> okay, they wrap us up. Thank you so much, Pierce. I hope I see you again. Enjoy beautiful Hawaii. I will indeed, Matilda. Be safe. God bless. Aloha. Bye. 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 Bye.